So, who has a? Uh, I can do classic anger. <laughs> <laughs> who has something they want to change? I don't want to know about it. I want to have something they want to change. Okay, so she comes up and she sits down, <coughs> and I make sure we got her four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now I go. Okay, so. I want you to go, I want you to pick a severe example of what you presently do, which is in some sense not entirely satisfactory. Uh, or you, it's satisfactory, but you want to extend the quality or increase the price. Is satisfactory? No. You got a problem? Yeah. Okay, well, go into the problem state. Come on. I got it. I don't have time to wait around. <laughs> come on, come on. Being a bully is kind of fun. As long as you can maintain your point. Okay, so there it is over there, right? Okay. So now if I'm on my game, I place my hand lightly here, and I'll go, go back into that state for me. Breathing changes. I increase the pressure here as I notice her still changing her physiology, and she's still changing. She gets deeper, she gets deeper, another deep breath, screw it, that's close enough. Okay, shake it off. <clears throat> okay, now, you have a solution? Uh -huh. you, you know what you would like to, to you prefer and rather than this? Okay, now I'm gonna step aside and go, there's a danger here, and this is one of the dangers of classic code. She's going into a really nice mixed state, conscious and unconscious. And so, yeah, do I really know what I would rather do in this context? I really know what um, there's a little bit of a problem because she's conscious, I, because the way I've asked the question, of what specific behavior she would rather do in this situation than the one that's over there. You understand the problem? Remember my comments about rehearsal? The context that she's imagining when she encounters it next, it will always be different than what she's imagining right here. So if she's on autopilot, and this is what she's rehearsing, that's what she's going to do. And it's probably going to be a significant improvement on the one on the other side there. But it's not as good as inventing it on the spot and having it flow out of an enhanced or high performance state. That's the whole point of the advantage of the new code. OK, so. Um, why don't you do, have you ever had this, have you ever done this before? Yeah, you've done this In a way that you might get, yeah, fuck all. Right. <laughs> you like it. Bossa Nova. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I want you to go into this state over here. And what am I doing? <coughs> Just following my own advice. <coughs> Again, those breathing changes are significant. Muscular tension, slowly increase as I continue to see change in her physiology, I just keep increasing. So at some point I go, yeah. Okay, did she look different than the two? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I want her to whistle Dixie, I don't know, you know, go someplace beautiful, Saupe, you ever been to Saupe? No, no. Uh, go, go someplace you really like. And uh, I want you to, to calibrate. I want you to verify what happens here. Okay, so she's off. Minimal cues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take that away. And I go, hey, uh, here's the music. Now, I wasn't being very careful about this because my <coughs> unconscious is so alert to what's going on. Almost anything I would do would work. <laughs> but ideally, put chalk on your fingers. So you reproduce it perfectly. The touch is absolutely perfect. So, I mean, think about it. Where, does the name Pavlov ring a bell? Yes. yes. Okay. It's supposed to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> So now, the interesting part is, you get a chance to watch it, she gets a chance to experience it, 
exposed. And watch for the struggle in the breathing. Watch for the struggle in the facial expressions and even the turn of the head and lowering or raising, whatever. And so, and I'm cheating, so I'm putting more pressure on over here than I am over here because I know how I want it to come out. Because that's the way she wants it to come out. Can you see the conflict? Can you see the competition physiologically for the state? That's what you're looking for. Okay. Now, <laughs> how do I test? How do I test it? So now, much time has passed. The era of of the what's the hell is the date today? Twelve. Thirteenth of the morning of the thirteenth of March. March. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty third, twenty fourteen has passed. And, uh, the neurology now has started to settle down. Now, if I'm going to use the touch anchors, the tactile anchors that I established to test whether the work went well, whether there was an integration, and you saw, you saw the breathing, you saw the posture, you saw the facial musculature attempting to entertain two separate faces and breathing back and stop, and it was a struggle, and it came out the way I wanted it. What am I going to touch to check? The side. The side? Yeah. What? But that's the quote negative anger. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> well, really? So, okay, well, let's go over and adjust. Okay. So, I take his advice. And what do you see? <laughs> yeah, change. Which way? Which way does she go? She goes over there. So, he's absolutely correct. You use the quote negative anger. And negative is a is an evaluative term that should be struck in the vocabulary. You use the touch anchor associated with the state that she started with, which she wished to change. <coughs> and you look for, and that's what we saw, this one. That means that whatever set of stimuli used to trigger her into that one, now are efficacious at taking her into the one that she wants. Temporarily. She's not done. Should be dissatisfied with this within a week or two. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> and so be it. There is no actualized human being who has reached their full potential. That's bullshit. Every step in that direction of personal liberation <coughs> is nothing more than the opening, deepening, broadening of the possibilities in the world around you. It just makes it makes it clear that there's worlds out there to be explored. You will never, I hope, find yourself satisfied. At the same time, the paradox is satisfied, and I'll say tons of them. Not a lot of I can quote from this guy that I really would like to endorse. But this one works for me. Life is a journey of 10,000 leagues, <clears throat> complete at each step. There's a lot there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh,